Hi, Karina. Hello. So, thank you for coming today. Thank you for inviting. Yeah. Long time no see. So. Yeah, it's been how, a, been? a while. Uh, I've been nice, like getting used to Japan. Like, I mean, I, I came back like two months ago, so I miss Japan a lot. And yeah, step by step, like getting jobs. I mean, I work as a model, so. Yeah, like first months was a bit slow and now getting more busy, more jobs. So yeah, I'm excited. I actually study Japanese. Oh. I will try to pass the test on July, JLPDN3. So yeah, gambatte. <laughs> yeah, great, great. Today we are going to a cafe yeah. um, over there. Nice. Yeah. Okay, so. Iko. Yeah, <laughs> Okay, so we arrived at a cafe. Yeah, it's a really nice place. You went to Thailand, right? Yes, yeah. like four months ago. How was it? Oh, that was so nice. The weather was good and it was still like cold in Belarus and cold in Japan, but the weather in Thailand was excellent. So I just went there for like vacation and I spent there for like one and a half months. Pretty long time, yeah. yeah, pretty long time. So it was so fun. Like yeah. we went to PP Island, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's like so gorgeous place. The water is uh, transparent, like never been in such places before. And yeah, yeah. I saw your Instagram and uh -huh. uh, yeah, yeah, I saw some pictures and uh, videos. Yeah. yeah, I posted, yeah. Maybe from... you enjoyed the beach. Yeah, yeah, I definitely did. You are trying to get a visa. Yeah, I'm trying to get residency here so I can leave Japan and come back easier because without residency, I have to go back to Belarus every time to apply visa, to reapply visa, which is so inconvenient. And yeah, this time I will try to get residency, then I can travel more freely around the world. You like Japan so much, so yeah. you wanna live here. Yeah, yeah. that's good. <laughs> What brought you to Japan? So why did you come to Japan? Uh, I came to Japan first time, it was like four, almost four years ago. Yeah, so long time. And I came as a model and I continue work as a model now. So first time I came as a model with my mother agency. And I used to stay there here for like two months and then I went back to Belarus and I came back again and Corona happened so I couldn't come back home and I had to stay here for like 11 months and I was like 17 <laughs> so it was pretty <laughs> yeah like third time I I came back to Japan because I, I was missing a lot I came with another agency I did like Shiseido job Kosa like big jobs with previous agency. So I was like pretty happy with the result. And yeah, this time I came already without mother agency and I maybe tried to do some different things, not only modeling. I do modeling still, but I try to find myself in something different. Yeah, so that's why I started to learn Japanese because I want to open more doors for myself in Japan because without language, it's pretty hard. Yeah, right. In Japan, most people don't speak English. Yeah, yeah, so. true. So you must speak the language, yeah, in order to live here. <laughs> in your daily life, do you feel language barrier? Well, now I can already communicate a little bit, like in Konbini or like explain what I want at least. So it's getting easier. But before, yeah, I definitely felt barrier because, you know, sometimes I want to ask something and people don't get me and I'm like, you know, like even I come to hospital and not everyone speak uh, English. So it's like so difficult to explain what I want. And yeah, so that's maybe, that's the main reason why I started to learn Japanese because I want to stay and live here for now. So yeah. How is the progress of your learning Japanese? Uh, I'm struggling, but uh, yeah, because like I'm aiming uh, for like N3 level and my current level is like N4, I guess. So I need to like study pretty hard for this month in order to pass, but I really want to pass, so I do my best. So N1 is uh, highest. the highest, yeah, yeah. N5 is the lowest. 
I'm yeah trying to pass N3, which is like in the middle. I can explain what I want already, yeah. But sometimes I'm struggling with like grammar, like choosing the right grammar, because like so many different grammars and like I'm sort of confused sometimes. But yeah, I'm trying my best. Like I'm more good at like kanji, you know, like writing, reading, but like speaking is still hard for me. I need more practice. What are big challenges for you to live in Japan as a foreigner? Well, I think um, it's not about Japan. It's in general, like, I miss my family a lot. This is maybe I must struggle, <laughs> struggling with. Like, I always, like, I call them every day and I tell them how I miss them. And, like, I know that I can meet them for a long time, which is so hard for me because I'm, we are so close. Yeah, but it's not about Japan, yeah, it's just in general, like, life um, in another country, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right. Actually, especially Japan, it's very far from your country. Yeah, very far, like, so far. Pretty hard. Mm. Yeah. It takes a long time, like, you, there is no direct flight, so I have to fly it for, like, 20 hours in general, like, so long time, and, yeah, but... I find life in Japan so easy, actually. Even, I mean, in Tokyo especially, even it's so expensive. But I feel like kind of life-work balance. I mean, I don't know, because I, maybe I don't work in, like, Japanese company. Because I heard that it's pretty hard. Yeah. Like, people are, like, overwork. Yes. And it's like, they struggle with, like, work-life balance. But I'm as a model, I live more, like, balanced life here. Did you work in other countries before? Yeah, in China, China. like Hong Kong, Guangzhou, Shenzhen, like in Shanghai several times, uh, Korea two times, yeah, Japan. And I went to Thailand just for traveling, for a vacation. You went to many countries? Yeah, yeah, like for traveling so many, like oh. Turkey, Dubai, yeah. But I still never been to Europe, like Paris, like, I mean, France, Italy, Spain, but I wish I can go, like, next year. What country is your favorite, other than Japan? I think from Asian countries, Japan is number one. So, other than Japan, I like Thailand, yeah, the climate, and Dubai I didn't like so much, because I felt like, you know, it's Everyone like tried to show off so much and like everything is so expensive, but the quality is like so low, kind of. And I don't like this atmosphere. <laughs> Just people like so much, yeah, and too hot as well. Turkey, Istanbul, I also didn't like so much, to be honest. It's like so dirty there. But yeah, some parts were nice. Antalya was so beautiful. Yeah, and Turkey, I mean, it's so nice. People there are so nice. And Dubai also, like, of course, some, so many like nice places, just like for like living, the climate, like also not so, so. Well, I really want to go to Europe. Yes, I think I will definitely like it. Do you want to work in Europe as well? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, oh. why not? Yeah, because some models want to work in Europe or North America. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, America, yeah. yeah. Lately, I feel like I'm more interested in, not modeling, like, I don't know, I'm losing this, like, how to say, like, dream, not losing, like, I don't have such dreams to, like, do a fashion show for a big brand or something. I really want to try myself in more, like, maybe other side of the camera, not like as a photographer, more like maybe as a marketer or organizing things. And yeah, I'm so interested in, in this. Probably I will change my career maybe next year, but for now, I mean, I enjoy my job. I love my job, but getting tired, like I've been working for like five years. So I feel like this is not now, but yeah. Yeah, I want to change something. You have a big TikTok account. Yeah. Instagram account. Mm -hmm. So I think you are good at marketing. Yeah. Right? Yes. Thank you. So it's good for you to work as a marketer or organizer. Yeah. Yeah. I think maybe, yeah, I should better like focus on marketing and like 
modeling, TikTok, Instagram. Yeah, so I'm thinking a lot about this lately. Yeah. Which direction to go? Yeah, right. And uh, you have experience. Yeah. Working as a model, so you yeah. can give advice to other models. Yeah, yeah, the... yeah. This also can be. I like Japanese culture. For me, it was kind of like naturally. I don't know. Uh, people are so nice. I don't think I'm struggling. I just more like try to understand the culture. Yeah, I think you enjoy Japan. Yeah, I enjoy Japan a lot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah great. Yeah, actually, in the, you're very popular in Japan. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm like a TikTok, Instagram. Yeah. And uh, I... also on my YouTube channel, you are popular. Oh, so, yeah. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. What are your favorite Japanese food? I think is natto. <laughs> natto? Really? Wow. I eat every day. Like every I day. yeah, almost every day. Like I don't know why, but I'm so in love with this natto. And um sukiyaki, sushi. I mean sushi I don't eat much lately, but yeah, I love fish. Ramen I like, but I can't eat a lot because it's kind of oily. And noodles I don't eat oftenly, so yeah. Soba also I like, yeah, but don't eat oftenly. You are working as a model, so I guess you have to maintain your fit. Yeah. So how to maintain your fit? I go to the gym every day. Oh, every day? Every day, but sometimes I do workout, sometimes I do cardio, like running. Or if like, I feel like tired, you know, my muscles, like pain, then I just go to sauna. Because, oh, sauna. yeah, I bought like membership in Konami gym. So I feel like can't do workout. I just go to sauna, take sauna, take like hot, cold baths and I feel refreshed. And I feel like it's so good for my body to keep fit, to keep my mental health. And yeah, just I feel my balance with like gym and sauna. How about the food? I try to not restrict myself because I did a lot and it led me to like some, I can't say like eating disorders, but yeah, I definitely had something like problems with food. So I try to not restrict myself and I don't want to like, I don't overeat much. So I just like, I feel my body when I want to eat and how much I want to eat. So now I basically want to eat healthy food because I feel like it's good for my body. And it's like my choice. It's not like I restrict myself from eating like sweets or something. Yeah. So I, I started to feel my body. What do you think about the cost of living in Japan? So do you think it's more affordable or uh, very expensive? Yeah, well, it's, if compared to US, I think it's more affordable now because of uh, Japanese yen became cheaper against US dollars, right? So if compared with other countries, then, well, if you have a good job in Japan, you can afford a good life because <laughs> uh, salaries here and uh, life is balanced, kind of, yeah. Thank you for your time, Karina. Thank you. Yeah, so please follow her Instagram and TikTok. Yeah, please. I will be so happy to see you. <laughs> All right. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Matane.